Hi, this is David Heine from Aspect Art Journal. This week we thought we'd take a little bit of time and uh, talk about some of the exhibitions and shows that we've seen around. And I actually wanted to do a review on a couple of films. So here we go. First of all, in Utrecht right now, they're celebrating the 500th anniversary of Carl V. Now he was kind of the first Habsburg that sort of took everything over. And had Spain during that very critical period when they were plundering North and South America, primarily South America. So it was an exciting period of time. Anyway, at the uh, Central Museum now, there's a very big Carl V exhibition. Now there was another one in Ghent. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's still going on, but that's where he was born 500 years ago. That show I was not very impressed with. Anyway, moving on. Right down the road from the Central uh, Museum, if you happen to be in Utrecht and you're still in a museum mode, go to the Katharina Convent, Life After Death, or Leben nach der Dot. Beautiful little exhibition about how they saw life after death in the Middle Ages. I would highly recommend this one. This one I enjoyed a, a great deal. And it's in this beautiful old convent uh, from the, I think, the 15th century. Now, locally here, I'm sure all of you have seen these large bulletin boards with pictures of Amsterdam about 1900. Uh, black and white photo and then you try to see how it looks now. Well, some of them you can actually recognize, others don't look anything like it used to. Well this is an exhibition down at the uh, Gamenta Archive on the Amstel. It's Jakob Ole and it's photographs that he took uh, right around the turn of the century from about 1890 to 1906. Very popular exhibition, a lot of people there, so uh, try to get it uh, during the week if you can. Um, you should get it while you can though because it w won't be there much longer. Uh, there's a little show over at the Rembrandt house, a man who paints this absolute realism, uh, Hank Hent Hentmantel. Uh, it's a show that I would recommend if you like realism. Well, it's there. And of course there's the ongoing permanent collection of Rembrandt etchings which is just incredible. And I would highly recommend that if you haven't seen it. Or look at the newly remodeled Rembrandt house. Now the films I wanted to uh, review, a couple things I saw this week. One of them is called American Beauty. This is a great American film, and it's hard to say that about American films by and large. It has Kevin Spacey as kind of the principal character in this, and right away when the film opens you know what's going to happen. He dies. Well, he tells you that right away. He's looking at it from above like he's in heaven. Well, the film goes on. At first it seems very superficial. Annette Benning plays this really feather-headed uh, real estate agent. Kevin Spacey's in the, in the shower masturbating. He says, well, this is the highlight of my day. After this, everything goes down. Well, the film develops. It shows all of these characters, each of them playing uh, the, the daughter of uh, this couple, Annette Benning, Kevin Spacey. She's very dissatisfied. She meets another fellow. He's the son of a, a very repressed military retired guy. In the end, everybody has a different character. It's a very entertaining film. I would highly recommend it. And I rarely do that with American films. Now the other film I'm going to review is another American film called The Talented Mr. Ripley. This one looked great in the trailers. Beautiful pictures of uh, Venice, turn of the century, various kinds of Italian scenes. Well the film never seemed to catch me. Uh, I don't know what it was. It just didn't seem to quite have the core that the trailers made you think it was going to be. It was more or less a mystery, several murders in it, but it was never suspenseful. Never seemed to really catch me. Well, anyway, that's it for Aspect Art Journal for this week. I hope you make one of these shows. If not, get out and see some art. Thanks. See you next week. Bye now.